Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sunny Kuswan. Today we are going to talk about what is incremental learning. You must have heard about this terminology while reading some research paper or articles or blog related to the machine learning or data science. But what exactly this incremental learning is and when exactly we have to use this incremental learning in machine learning field? What are all its advantages and what are all challenges of using this incremental learning? And what are all different machine learning algorithms are available to do the incremental learning in the machine learning field? So we are going to talk about all these topics in this episode. But before that, if you are new on this channel, then please subscribe to this channel, hit on the bell icon so you will get the notification whenever I create a new and interesting video on data science and machine learning. Now let's talk about what is incremental learning. So incremental learning is one method in the machine learning field where we try to train our model continuously. So what exactly mean of trying to train our model continuously? So we will have some data set one and we'll train our machine learning model on data set one. So our machine learning model will learn from this data set one. After that, we got a data set two. So we can take that data set two and again, we'll train our machine learning model and our machine learning model will now learn from the data set two. Similar way, we can take the data set three, data set four, and we can keep training our machine learning model ahead and ahead. So this way, our machine learning model will keep increasing its knowledge or it will keep increasing its learning. This process or method, we call it like an incremental learning in the machine learning field. So let's try to understand with the examples. Okay, so on screen, you can see here, we have one simple image. Inside of this image, you can see that we have the model zero and model zero has learned about the dogs, some insects and the birds, or we can say the specifically sparrow. Now, on top of this, you can see that we have added a couple of more new classes, means we have shown the new data set to our machine learning model and we have trained our model zero on these new classes. And now we have created new model that is a model one and inside of model one, you can see we have increased knowledge. Our model one now knows about the horse, sparrow, peacock, butterfly, insects, dogs. So it has increased its knowledge. Again, we shown the new classes. You can see on top of that, we have the sparrow, honeybee, and, and lion. We have shown these new classes again to our model. And now you can see our model two, where it is able to learn or have a knowledge about the different kind of objects, or we can say the different kind of a classes. So you can see the tiger, sparrow, peacock, honeybee, and, and horse, butterfly, and different insects so you can see that in model zero we had a limited uh, knowledge or the learning again we shown the new classes now our model one has the more learning again in model two you can see that we have shown the new classes and now our model two is having the more knowledge than the model one so this way our machine learning models keeps learning from the new data sets and it increases its knowledge so this process we call it as like an incremental learning so now let's take a one another example of the clustering and let's see like how exactly our incremental learning works so you can see in this another example so in first block you can see that we have here the best network okay so we have the cluster zero which is related to the planes and cluster one which is related to the dogs okay so our base deep neural network or the model is learned about the neural network or we can say the base network you can see that we have shown some cat images and we have shown some bird images and now our updated network that is the newly learned network or the model has the more knowledge it knows about the planes it knows about the dog and cat it also knows about the birds so you can see that there are the three clusters so this way if you keep showing the more and more data to our already trained machine learning model all the deep neural network it will keep learning and keep increasing its knowledge so this overall process we call it like a incremental learning now let's talk about when exactly we have to use this incremental learning. So there are different scenarios. Let's consider you are starting with your project and you don't have enough data set with you or you are just planning to collect from different sources or you are going to ground level and going to capture actual data. So in that case, you can take your small set of data which is readily available. You can train your machine learning model on that. 
again later on when you get another data set you can just take it and you can retain your model and you can keep increasing your learning or knowledge of your model and you can do your project second scenario would be you have a huge amount of a data set okay and that data set is that much large that you cannot process on your system so what you can do you can divide that data sets into the small chunks let's consider you have a data set of like a 10 terabyte so you can divide this all data sets in the small size of a 1 gb or 1 gigabyte and you can train your model with 1 gigabyte data again take the another set of a data set of 1 gigabyte and you can keep training continuously this way third and most important scenario where you have to use the incremental learning is like let's consider you are in a very competitive market where your target values are keep changing according to the trends let's consider you are in an e-commerce market where customer patterns are changing frequently so you have to continuously take the new data and you have to keep training your model so you can get the better insight about what are all different patterns or trends going on in the market so these are all the three scenarios in which you can go for the incremental learning now let's talk about what are all advantages of incremental learning so first and simple advantage is like even if you're not having the sufficient data you have only small set of a data set then also you can start uh, doing your machine learning project with the incremental learning process second advantage of incremental learning is that when your system is running in that case also you can continuously keep training and keep improvising your machine learning model third advantage is you can develop an adaptive incremental model which can adapt new information from the new set of a data set when you are training each time for the increasing your model's knowledge so these are all three advantages of incremental learning so hope you understood about what is incremental learning and we have understood with the example what are all different advantages now let's talk about what are all challenges in the incremental learning okay so as we know that the key feature of incremental learning is like preserve the previous knowledge and try to increase its knowledge from the new data set which we are getting but what could happen like there might possibility like we may lose our previously learned knowledge due to the new data set from which we are learning so that is the biggest challenge in the incremental learning that we have to preserve the whatever we learned previously past data sets second challenge which is related to the similar concept like when we are training our model from the new data we are expecting like our model should adopt quickly from whatever the patterns or the trends available in the new data but that is very challenging because we are showing the small set of data which has some patterns or trend but our model is already learned a lot from the previous data set so quickly adopting for the new trends and new patterns from the small chunk of a data set is very challenging in the incremental learning field so these are two the major challenges so now let's talk about how you can do this incremental learning what are all machine learning algorithms available for that so i'm just going to list down a couple of so first one is like a incremental support vector machine second one is a decision rule after that we have the decision tree related algorithms like id4 id5r and Genery. there is artificial neural networks like rbf network learn plus plus fuzzy art map there is a topo art igng so these are all couple of examples of the incremental learning algorithms so hope today you are able to understand about what is incremental learning its advantages challenges and what are all different algorithms available for the incremental learning if you are interested to see the actual implementation how we can do the incremental learning process or the method in the machine learning then let me know in the comment box i'll try to create new episode on that Hope you liked today's information. If yes, then please hit on the like button. Subscribe to this channel to learn more about data science and machine learning. If you have any questions or doubt, then just mention it in the comment box. I'll try to get back to you. Stay safe, stay happy. See you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.